Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm fitting at Mountain View, California today at Western Ballet. And one of the problems that Hannah is having today is uh, one, getting over her point shoes, but two, her point shoes make her look like she's sickling. So we're gonna take a look at the point shoes that Hannah is currently in right now and see what we can fix. Okay, stand up for me. First position. Okay, bring your left foot up on point and then press up on both feet. Straighten your knees. Okay, so currently she's in one of the softest shoes possible because um, we wanted to help her get over on point shoes. Um, come down for me, but as you can see, she's struggling to get over on her point shoes. Hannah actually has really narrow feet, super, super narrow. So um, we definitely want to keep her in something that's narrow, but we want to put give her a little bit more width right here so she doesn't look like she's sickling. Can you bring your feet out a little bit apart? A little bit apart yeah so you can really see that she looks like she's sickling and she's totally wearing out her shoes on the on the pinky side so it emphasizes that she's sickling a little bit more so we definitely want to fix those two things I want to give her a little bit more support on the sides right here so she's a little bit straighter and she so and um, a little bit more support that she, so she can get over can you actually face the bar for me and go into parallel. Hannah actually struggles with tendonitis, so that's one of the reasons why she has trouble getting over on her point shoes. But if you look at her shoes, it's completely twisting off of her heel. So this usually happens when the shoe is too narrow for you. Um, for Hannah, for Hannah, these shoes are not too narrow, it's just the wrong shape. So we're gonna fix a couple things. Come down for me, and then you can take those shoes off. So like I mentioned earlier, Hannah is in the softest shoe possible. So what we're going to do is I'm actually gonna give her a harder shoe so she feels a little bit more support. Some dancers get over softer shoes better. That's the more common case, but sometimes dancers get over harder shoes better because they feel a little bit more support. So I'm gonna give her a little bit more support on the sides um, by emphasizing the wings and I'm gonna give her a little bit more support in the shank so it's gonna be a harder shoe. Okay, so go ahead and take, put those on for me. And because Hannah is so narrow, whenever I give her a shoe that's a little bit wider on the platform, she does sink. So I have to make sure that she doesn't do that. Very good. And press up on both feet. So actually a much, much harder shoe, but Hannah's getting over a little bit better. So we wanna make sure that she's getting over. The one thing I am uh, taking away from her with this shoe is that it's a little bit harder to balance, um, but I think she can get used to it. <laughs> Cross it into bit position for me. More on your big toe, very good. So because she is struggling with the tendonitis, it is a little bit wobblier. She has slightly weaker ankles than other people, so she is more prone to this injury. Uh, so we want to make sure that she's getting over so she's not struggling so much. And can you go into parallel? Very good. So you can see that she's sickling much less in this shoe. Um, so it's actually a, a narrower shoe, but I'm giving her a little bit more width here. You can see that the platform is pretty small. She's definitely getting over a little bit better, and she is having a lot more support on the side. And the shank is the hardest she's ever worn, but she's actually getting over better on these shoes than any other soft shoes that she's tried on. Can you face the back for me? If you look at her shank here, it's not twisting anymore. So I just changed the shape of the box a little bit so that she doesn't, um, so that the shank doesn't move. So if I peel this back, it's actually uh, pretty straight on her heel. She does have a tendency to um, collapse on towards the pinky side, but uh, with this shoe, she's a lot straighter, so it's probably gonna help her dance a little bit better and more, um, she's gonna have much better alignment. Face the front for me, very good. Okay, come down. So we fixed a couple things today. If you're struggling to get over your point shoes, a softer shank is not always the solution. Sometimes it is. You Sometimes you just need more support in the correct places. So step up onto point. So just like Hannah, um, sometimes you should try a harder shoe on to make sure that you can get over a little bit better. Okay, come down for me. So we fixed a couple things today, the sickling and um, the sinking and getting over your box. If you have any problems like that, leave them in the comments and I'll try to address them in our next video. And if you're anywhere in the Bay Area, we are just opening in our Oakland location. You can always get an appointment there. I'm going to link that below as well. So um, hopefully if, if you guys are having any problems, then we'll see you soon.